How's it going, my barbers? How's it going? Another day, another day. I can't complain, man. Um, I'm coming to y'all because I want to talk about these fake ass barbers, man. They fake. And they're afraid, man. They're afraid. And when I say afraid, man, they're afraid to fail. Want to succeed, but afraid to fail. Want to succeed, but afraid to take that first step. That's going to lead to success. That's going to lead to greatness. How you want to be great, but you afraid, bruh? That don't make no sense to me. I don't understand it. Matter of fact, I don't want you type of people around me, man. Because you're going to try to talk me out of being my greatest self. Or being the greatest barber that I can be. You're going to tell me to go do something else. So I can't be around you. You the one that suck the air out the room, man, when a when a person talking about his goals and aspirations. And y'all be mindful. You young barbers be mindful of guys like that. Again, pay attention to who you surround yourself with, man, when you coming up in the barbering game. You know, you looking up to somebody, um, as as I say in my old videos or my other videos, find you a mentor. Find you a well rounded barber, man, who get it who getting it in the shop, who cranking them out in the shop, who getting paid in the shop, who clients fuck with him like he fuck with them. He built the relationships, his relationships. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Once some relationships become solid, man, they gonna fuck with you. They gonna go where you go. As long as you don't move out of town or nothing. Those are more, more than likely your clients. But back to these scared and afraid ass barbers. Y'all make me sick. I don't fuck with y'all, man. Y'all the reason why a lot of barbers, y'all those barbers that, that's low balling. When everybody's trying to raise their prices, y'all them barbers that's scared to raise your prices because you feel like you're going to lose a client. Scared to walk, scared to jump off the cliff. Scared to take that jump that's going to change your life forever. You'd rather stay in the shop, cut your same clientele, and that's it. And that's your life. And there's nothing wrong with that. To each his own. But I don't want to be around you. Get it how you live, man. But I don't want to, get, I don't want to be around you. I ain't got too much to say to you. I ain't got too many words for you, bro. You ain't for me. And I know a lot of times I ain't for a lot of other people. So be it. You know. A thing you must understand is barbering. As a barber, you got to understand that you can't roll with everybody. You know. Find your tribe. Find that mentor in the shop that you look up to. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you'll be following the wrong people. And you realize like, damn. You know, you following the wrong person. Understand that. You can't you can't come in the barber game and, and play it safe. You can't come in the barber game and play it safe. You're gonna be stagnant for your whole career. You'll never go over 30 racks a year. Cause you playing it safe. You scared ass fake barbers. Want to stay in the shop, make 30 racks a year, barely survive if that. You definitely ain't surviving if you live in L.A. with 30 racks a year. That's not really no money, 30 to 40 racks a year. Man, this money is unlimited in the barbering game. That's what's so golden about being a, a barber. This shit is infinite, man. It's what you put into it. You put your everything into it, it's going to reward you. And then some. You scared ass barbers don't want to further your education. You scared fake ass barbers don't want to use topic. And I don't knock topic. I don't use topic like that, but I don't knock it. It's innovative and new. Why not use it? Why not try it? Some clients come in and they that's what they want. Give them what they want. 
Nah, I ain't fucking with that. I don't want to fuck with that topic, man. That shit look dumb. That shit stupid. But your client want it. Why not add that to your services and charge a little bit more? You 30 to 40 rack-ass barbers. That could be the difference. That could be five more racks that you can add over the year to your, your salary. But you're getting in your own way because you're scared and you're afraid of success. You comfortable. Ain't nothing in, in comfort, man. You don't get nothing out of comfort. You get stagnation. You know? But when you step out of that comfort zone, man, that allows you to get your failures up, which leads to experience, which later leads to success. You know? Stop being mediocre, man. Stop being afraid, man. There's so many barbers that I talk to in the game, man, and they just afraid, bro. When I talk to folks about what I'm looking to do, what I want to do in the barber game, folks be like, yeah, that's cool. That's what's up. Cheerleaders like a motherfucker. Then talk to them about doing something. Oh, look, man, that's, that's collab, bro. Let's do this. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, man, I'm going to be in the shop, bro. I, you know, I can't do much. Can't do much today. But I don't knock you, man. But you got to try something different, bro. You got to try something different. Ladies, too, try something different. Go against the grain. Find a lane that works for you. Stop being afraid. Scared money don't make money. I'm going to say it again. Scared money don't make money. You got to spend money to make money. You got to take chances to make money. And if the OG ain't tell you that, or well, if you ain't learned that on your way up, man, you got a long way to go, fella, lady. But I say all that to say this, man. Stop being afraid, man. Go for what you want. Stop watching other people celebrate their successes and get in on that pot. Get to a point where now you celebrating because you took a chance on yourself. Self-preservation. Take care of yourself, man. Take care of you. Get that education. Get that mindset. Follow some barbers on Instagram that inspire you to try different things. Get out of that little cubicle, man. Get out of that barbershop, man, and get some fresh air. There's a lot going on outside, man. You know, a lot of people still confined to a barbershop, man. Get out there and get some fresh air. See what's going on. See how you can create Passive incomes, man. You know, with, with COVID trying to shut us down, man, find a new way. It's definitely a new way. You just got to get out of your little zone that you in that's holding you back. Don't get in your own way. Find a way to get over these hurdles. Find a way to be your greatest self. Stop being afraid. And with that being said, go after your goals. Be fearless. And that's my words of the day. Y'all stay cold. Stay driven. Stay positive. Stay hungry. It's your boy, Los Soto Barber. I'm out. Y'all be great, nonetheless.